All right, here we are back with another review. It's Sunday, which means new content, and it also dropped the BCA and new legends, so we're going to go over those. Let's start with Friday's content and work our way up. Uh, Cameron Hayward is the newest football outsider. 89 strength, 92 block shed, 92 power move. Those three items right there means he's going to stop the run and rush the passer. 82 excel. I've always loved Cam Hayward. Uh, this item is trending right in that fashion. Uh, a little bit of a budget Muhammad Wilkerson. Perfect. Uh, big fan of what he brings to the table. And as he continues to get more items across the year. Now, Martellus Bennett was the other football outsider I was super interested um, in. But at only 80 speed, he does have 81 strength, 80 run block, which is very good. So he's more of a beef guy. He's six foot six. But his catching stats, um, with only 80 speed, I thought he'd be a little faster or maybe have a little bit more spec. So... You could streak him and throw him 6'6", high point, and he would hang on. But at 82 catch and traffic, 86 spec, those aren't bad by any means. But he's limited in what he can do. He's more of a blocker. And so I wouldn't really go after the Bennett. I thought he would be a little more versatile, but he's more of just a run blocking style. Uh, McDonald, you can't have a DT with 86 strength. Kroll, you can't have a halfback with 86 speed, even though he's a truck back with pretty good agility. He's kind of a rare, because rare in the sense that most trucking style backs don't have that much agility, but I wouldn't use him personally. I think the girly uh, would be still be better for you, or David Johnson type, because they're a little faster. And then a uh, uh, left tackle, who I'll pass on for now. So you also got BCA defensive program uh, two days ago. So Richard Sherman is your defensive master. Uh, there's a bunch of silver defensive players and a bunch of gold uh, BCA defensive players. So let's click in, see what the silvers and the golds uh, look like. So you have a David Harris, Kirk Coleman, Terrence Newman. Yeah, I mean, these are these are golds. You're basically, aside from Bo Allen, who's amazing looking um, with great hair, you're not going to probably utilize any of these guys in your lineup, but you may need them for uh, certain sets. Uh, then you have the gold versions of some of these items. And so, similar thing, you're not really going to use any of these items. If there's a, one sleeper guy I'm missing, uh, let me know. But I still think you'll be able to find better value across uh, the board with all these guys. Then you have your elite defensive player. So there's a version of Richard Sherman who is uh, the solo challenge reward, who's, non who's NAT. 83 speed, can't have him, sorry. Um, Jerry Hughes, normally known for great finesse move and acceleration, has that again this season. Pretty nice. Uh, definitely going to be only a pass rushing player and not able to play really on rundowns of 71 strength, but I don't mind Jerry Hughes coming out of there. Woodyard, 86 block shed, 84 speed, 84 hit power, super balanced across the board. Uh, pretty decent zone uh, linebacker for the middle if you need a guy. Sean Lee, same thing. 85 hit power, 85 block shit. I would compare these two. I know they one plays outside, one plays inside. It doesn't really matter as long as you're putting them into zone coverage assignments. 85 block shed for Lee. He's a little weaker, but he has really good block shed to make up for it, and he's going to be more of a zone coverage defender. Compare him to a, to a Levante David um, and see who gets you the better value. Compare him to the Thomas Davis that came out recently. See who gives you the best value. Malcolm Butler gets another item up to 89 speed with 91 zone. Guys, if Malcolm Butler grabs a team of the week in a in a week or two or three weeks and then he, you know, this item is trending towards being one of the top corners at the end of the season if he gets a 91 speed, if he gets a 93 speed. So two more versions of this thing and he's peak. But he's super balanced between his speed, his man, and his zone uh, with good press, with good play rep once he gets to that 90 level. Uh, this is a legitimate item right there. Now, Wilkerson, whew, we talked about it. He's got 92 strength, 93 block shed, 92 power move. That's that three combo, similar to what Hayward has. Pretty good acceleration. Definitely more of a power move guy than a finesse move guy, but 88 play rack. So, Wilkerson, probably the best, one of the best left ends in the game consistently for all, all the both run and pass downs. I saw him boosted up with a couple chemistries um, that gave him like 97 strength or something like that with a couple two-tier chemistries, I think, that people were working on. 
and I mean it makes this Wilkerson fierce. So don't sleep on this Wilkerson. He'll probably be my next. You know I love Curse, but maybe Wilkerson's my guy. I bring in for first down, um, and then see if he can rush the passer because he's going to be stronger and better block shed. Uh, Eric Berry gets an item: 89 speed, 89 excel. 90 zone, 86 hit power. He's at free safety, not strong safety. So Barry's a free safety this year. 78 tackle, that's a little bit low. He's got 81 man, a little bit like that Ron Parker we showed earlier. Um, 84 pursuit. I think he could struggle to tackle a little bit. But 89 and 90 is pretty balanced for this point in the season. So if you'd like the Eric Barry, I don't think that's a bad move uh, to go. Sherman gets an item, 87 speed. He's got 92 zone, 89 man. Now, 87 speed, I think, at this point in this season, because it's Richard Sherman, 6'3", you can get it done. But you'd have to really protect this item in certain situations. If somebody throws a Brandon Cook's 92 speed, 93 speed out there, you could potentially get beat. But Sherman's going to have the spec catch. He's going to have, you know, you could play either coverage. He's got the best press pretty much in the game. Pretty much the best play rec up in the game. So that's my only caveat is saying 87 speeds potentially makes me slightly nervous. But I think you make it through with Richard Sherman. Now, we also had legends this weekend. You got Steve McNair and um, Jack Youngblood. So Youngblood's obviously, I believe, a new legend. Check him out. Left end... 91 power move, 90 strength, 89 block shed. Look at the Muhammad Wilkerson. Look at the Cameron Hayward that just came out. Now, he has more speed, more acceleration than those two guys. But still, he doesn't have the finesse move. He's more of a power power move guy. 90 play rec across the board. So, you know, you take a look at the Wilkerson. You take a look at the Youngblood. I think you kind of see who's going to play the best for you. Great. Great items. Will this guy replace my Javon Curse? Until the community, I hear about him, until the community is like, yo, Youngblood seems to be getting in. He's doing Ray Nitschke type stuff. I'm going to hold with the curse that I have because I know the curse gets in for me. And I'm going to grab the Wilkerson before I grab the Youngblood, probably because cost. I got to check all the prices, but um, we'll see. He just looks cool too. That's kind of the other thing. I'm sure he looks cool. McNair gets an item, 92 throw power, conductor, chemistry, Ability chemistry, 91 short, 87 mid, 90 deep. So, super balanced. 92 throw on the run, 88 play action. Those two things are super, super balanced. Those are two things that Stafford doesn't have. Uh, 79 speed, so just enough to get it going. You know, not going to be an every down running quarterback, but just enough mobility uh, in the pocket. So, so we'd have to test him. I wouldn't jump to him just because I'm. I think I want just a little more throw power if I was going to go. Um, but I do like that medium at 87 is the one that's not at the 90 level because I do value short and I do value deep. I like medium at 87, but you know that's the one I would say, okay, that's okay. Um, but yeah, we have to check this McNair out. I bet he has really good strength um, and probably pretty good carry. So you might be able to get away with a, a take, being a little more physical. Uh, 74 strength. What's his carry? 77 carry, that's pretty good for QB, I believe. 83 Excel should make him a little feel slightly faster. Um, and there's no reason this, this shouldn't play solid, so I like the balance. I'd compare him to Big Ben, says Scoter Life, yeah. So I'd compare him to the Big Ben, and I would pick up you know whichever one costs uh, less. I think that could be the move. Now, you also get a Cordy Glenn. You get a, a couple guys in the Milestone sets that you can upgrade for dual chemistry. Um, you know, we recommended the Cordy Glenn. He's pretty much the only guy from this list that we uh, recommended as just a straight-up pass blocker if you need it for your lineup. So you can go back and watch the old uh, review of these milestone items. They just have new chemistry. So that is our review, guys. Let us know in the comments what you think. I'm reading the chat right now. Um, people are really excited for the Wilkerson. Uh, people excited to try out Cam Hayward, see where they can get some value from BCA. And uh, let me know if you try the new legends, how they go.